we learned a really good lesson today. Redo your booth and stuff sells. My favorite has just sold. Blue Miner's been up there for a month and people have walked past him, not really paid much attention to him. This item has just sold. Updated in the 90s. And I, I don't think it's been open since she moved from California. So Well, we got Bible study this morning, and then after Bible study, we're going out to the Antique Center. We're going to reset highlights. Uh, got some cool stuff going in there, and then we have possibly one house call. I'm going for the auction for next week, and then Bible study. I got to come back here and help upload the auction or learn how to upload, and then I have a haircut today, so that'll be nice. I cut your hair. I don't want you to cut my hair. Um, I'm Kaylin. You haven't met me, probably haven't. No, there was a bunch of people who made some comments about your video last week. So I'm pulling stuff for UPS right now. So this is the sold stuff you're pulling, right? Yeah, this is like people who, on Fridays usually they take like smaller items, a lot of jewelry, stuff like that. So I'm pulling that, people that are out of state. Yeah, and they all get shipped. Mm -hmm. Well, copying some pictures for Lucas or you. And then printing invoices so we can get stuff shipped out. There's usually close to 100 emails when I come in in the morning between questions and payments. And Today. we have usually between 200 and 250 invoices each auction. Mm, close to 300 when it's high dollar. They buy less per each invoice usually. Guys, we're back out here at the heart and we have to get the highlights ready. So the highlights right here are not ready for us to uh, set up yet. We got that art we picked up from Suzanne yesterday. Uh, we're gonna put it in this area here. So uh, what we're gonna do for the next uh, hour or so is empty the highlights out, we're gonna unload the van, and then we will start setting up the new display. And mom's table's going out the door. Sold it today. So Josh is just opening up the last one of these. We have a total of six of these sculptures look at these things we're uh, we're setting up a display here but these are wild these are all the sculptures from the art from suzanne uh, they're big pieces and then check this on this side out as well now these paintings are of her uh pine needle sculptures and then there's another one back here so we're working on this we're not sure how the display is going to end up we're in mid process right now but we'll get there and there's the last one there it is. There you go, Josh. Let's get that one back there in the middle. What do you think? Right in the middle? Right uh, getting them tied in place, getting them secured up. Guys, we have it set up. This is all Suzanne's artwork. Now, this is interesting. The packaging on this and the art is all dated in the 90s. And I, I don't think it's been open since she moved from California. So this was last exhibited in the 1990s in California. Now it's at the entrance of the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. And if you remember right, she handmade these from pine needles. So these are, these are five and six feet tall and they're handmade from pine needles. Uh, if you're interested in bidding or buying these things, they're going to be priced and out here for display. I think we're going to price these around $275 each uh, on all of her sculptures and just see what happens. Uh, but this side here is the same. Check this out. It says Lost, Lost Angels and it's got pieces of glass in the actual artwork. Gorgeous, gorgeous work. Josh, what else we got here? All right, so this is the other side of the highlights, but I got to say, we just got this done. And in a matter of the past 20 minutes, this item has just sold. It's just sold. My favorite has just sold. That's And that's the bronze out of the house over in Columbus, the Lazarus yes. home. Yeah. Okay. This just sold. Wow. You've got the touch, Josh. Everything you display just sells. I love it. And... This just sold. And this just sold. Wow, okay. So yeah, we are gonna have to redo our highlights. So tomorrow right? we're gonna have to redo the highlights. <laughs> that's all right, that's why we do it, right? <laughs> but it looks good, guys. Overall really view of the stuff. highlights right here. Let's just do a quick, a quick walk around one more time. The highlights here at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. On this side is all of the French and Victorian type stuff here. Uh, and then as we turn the corner, we walk into the display of art from Susan. And I did not film this one over here yet, so I wanted to make sure I got this one. Now these are interesting because these are actually paintings of her pine needle sculptures. So this painting here, she put two sculptures side by side and that's what they're of. So this is the highlights. Uh, we're here at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. And again, if you have not been out here, come out, check out what we have here. This is a great display.
Got the highlights uh, redecorated again. We put a horse up here in the corner where the bronze was. Josh getting it wiped down. And then we got another little bronze we stuck up on the pedestal on this side. And just rearrange some up here and then uh, we'll, we'll add some more stuff to the highlights uh, tomorrow. It's looking good. We learned a really good lesson today. Redo your booth and stuff sells. I mean, how long have we had that, <laughs> some of that stuff in there? A few of the items have been up there for a month and people have walked past them, not really paid much attention to them. Uh, we did a little bit of rearranging today and bam. So we have seven items that sold from from oh, just there at the end, and then we sold. I sold the rug a little when we first started. We sold the yeah. Oriental rug out, and there was a stand that we sold out uh, all all in the first few minutes when we started rearranging stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it was good. It was good. End of the day. It's right at the end of the day. But I think that's such a valuable so. lesson uh, for our dealers and for people that have a booth. You know, if, if you're not working it, rearranging, you, you have to because it gets stale. It gets you know, if people that see it, their mind yeah. gets kind of used to it, and they go through without second looks and. Well, there's times your eyes are drawn to certain things and you totally miss the other things that are in yeah. the booth. So uh, just rearranging it, fixing it up, uh, it, it brings new life to things that you have sitting there. It does. It absolutely does. And now we, we have to do it again tomorrow. So it'll be good. <laughs> we'll rearrange it again. But hey, we do that every day if, it's, if it sells that fast. So uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching us, guys. Keep subscribing. Um, if, if you're liking our channels and our content, we ask you, please share it, subscribe to it, like it. Uh, at Burner Brother Antiques, and then also the second YouTube channel is at Heart of Ohio Antiques. Uh, and at the, the at Heart of Ohio, you're going to get a lot more in-depth sit-downs with our dealers, uh, a little bit more behind the scenes, yeah. not behind the scenes, but in-depth conversation of uh, behind the dealers, the, the, where they come from, their passion, their lives, their livelihoods. Yeah, they bring a, a lot of knowledge and experience yeah. to the yeah. table when they start talking. I sit there and I listen, and I'm just blown away by what they've done in their lifetimes and things that they've brought in. It's really neat. It's uh, really good interviews. I'm blown away that we sat here in the middle of uh, one of the best antique centers in the world, if not the best, uh, and we have a thousand plus showcases and booths with, with knowledgeable uh, experts. A lot of them are experts, some are professionals, and some are beginners, but it's just a wealth of knowledge out there that we get to just learn from every day. So uh, blessings, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching.